seat me by your side in death. Make me one within your glory, and let the world once more see your favor. Kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might, if your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. In due time. Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The mages and Templars are fighting even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royo. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. of the Maker rang out. The first word... Apothecary Adol will have more pulses for the injured as soon as be. possible, revered mother. Thank you, child. You are doing the Maker's work. Have you been... Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, 
Even her husband, Fräulein. Do everything within your power. But remember those who would help you. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can, the rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured, as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chant of Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the Mages and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of a Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, add the breach. Farmers have fled their fields, if we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell. Make her go with you.
at your service. work.
Let's see what we have. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through.
The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the bridge. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durelion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend this use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellians actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I apologize for the intrusion. I didn't realize you were meeting with the Marquis. You did little harm. In truth, the debate was most beneficial, as practice, for those to come. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. You are the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Hello? Can I help you with something? You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protected. 
I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. Most Circle Mages I've met have a different opinion of the Templars. They have not lived my life. I was born into a Dalish clan. I lived there until my magic manifested. The Dalish cannot risk having too many mages in one clan. And I was one more than they could bear. But they gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars and I want no part of it. I just want to study. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquils safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves, can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite, they're rational, and they'll never get angry at you. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. At the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. I'll speak with you later. Travel safely. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you.
You return. Farewell. Farewell. For she who trusts in the Maker, fire is her water. As the moth sees light and goes toward flame, she should see fire and go toward flame. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. You built for them the golden city. How do you think they'll close that huge hole in the sky? Ally with the Templars, I'd imagine. I've seen them weaken magic. What about the rebel mages? Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Um, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her? If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. So it's true, Butler has stand on us. Oh, my lord, I don't know where the other nobles are. I suggest you ask Ambassador Montillier. Oh, you're him, Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logain McTeer, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. 
A lot of people seem to think they know what happened at Ostagar, but I was there. Turn Loghain never betrayed his king. If he'd brought the reinforcements, Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. He did what he had to do to save our country, and we betrayed him. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harrick can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. Can I help you with something? Farewell. Make a go with you. anything we need, let me know. Nice work with those supplies. The smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. Might not affect you much, but our recruits will have better chances next time some monster flies out of a rift. Farewell. Make a go with you. Can I help you with something? If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I have no idea what's happening anymore. That makes two of us. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and Maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner the better. If it can be sealed. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. And Mother... Ah, you're awake. 
awake and out of Lady Cassandra's clutches. And here I paid that little knife ear to inform me the moment you were free. No matter, no matter. Segret, honored to meet you. Thank you for all you've done, and hopefully will still do. What do you think I'll be doing, exactly? Word's already spreading that if anyone could close that blighted thing in the sky, it's you. Anything you need is yours. For a reasonable price, of course. Supplies are a little tight, given the circumstances. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroyed most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an Inquisition is called. Yet, I imagine it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies, for what it's worth. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table.
something can I ask you something Varric you want to talk about me I'm flattered also inclined toward extravagant lies thanks Varric no problem Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. I didn't ask for this, but someone has to find a way to seal this breach. Spoken nobly indeed. You think I'm mocking you? This age has made people cynical. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. 
not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay there. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating, but you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Sigrid asked, told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything less than eight. Fine. We'll gather our own. Tell Sigrid, he better hope he doesn't need a salve anytime soon. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. Didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How are your people holding up? We've got Mother Giselle lending a hand now, which helps. For the ones that need comforting more than actual healing, she's a rock in fast water. Something to cling to. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. <laughs> <laughs> 